those in school too. Yeah, yeah we had those well, in school yeah, too. School. I mean, we Wait, have twenty year old. Were you AWR? Or were you? Um, uh, all right. So what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna use uh, seven mils instead of five, just because with five it, it it just takes forever. Okay. But I'm gonna add it right in, and you're gonna see kind of a violent reaction. It'll be pretty violent to start. Okay. It's. Uh, uh, you can see the uh, copper ions being formed right away because the solution is kind of greenish blue. Yeah. And you have this uh, this uh, red vapor, which is nitrogen monoxide gas. Oh, okay. Okay. Again, it's pretty it, it's pretty intense to start. Every exothermic, this is actually very getting very very hot. Right. Nitrogen monoxide is toxic, right? Uh, it is. That's why it's oh, in the hood okay. and go. That's why you guys aren't doing it at your bench. All right. But it is kind of nasty, so it, it gets taken out. But as, it, as the reaction settles down a little bit, you can see the, the, the brass kind of dancing on top of the acid solvent. The heck was that? Oh, you just knocked the thing off, don't worry about it. As long as you didn't pull it down. Carlo did. Don't pull it. Like Carlo did. Okay, and then it'll do this for about 10 minutes or so. So come back in five, okay, 10 minutes and so see if it's done. I think that was the important part. Yeah, that was, that was the important part. It's just, but you can still kind of see it dancing on there. Again, this is a, this, the beaker is actually very, very hot. Oh, wow. But it takes a, but it takes a little bit of time for all that to dissolve. Okay, and then when you do that, I'll tell you what to do next. Okay.